it's not Monday night, and it's time for you jokes. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. Jonathan Mangum here. You are watching You Jokes. You are watching You Jokes. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, if this is your first time watching, I should tell you what you're watching. This is a comedy competition. And usually how it goes is we have two very funny people competing to see who the funniest person is uh, by coming up with uh, jokes based on memes or pictures or ideas I give them. And then you, the audience, can play along too. That's what makes it fun. You get to play along right in the chat. You type in your joke. Our producer, Josh, is off camera. He goes in the audience. He pulls out the best joke, puts it up on the screen, and then you vote who had the best joke. Was it the professionals or was it the audience? That's you jokes. Yay, 97. That's our 97th episode. We've been doing these for a long time. Um, tonight's a little different. A little different because uh, I had to suddenly at the last minute change our normal night, which is usually we're on at Mondays at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern. Uh, not at, not this time. It's Tuesday at a different time. And because I had to go changing that, we lost both of the comedians that were supposed to play. So we will have them back, I'm sure, uh, at some point in the future. But that left me in a bit of a conundrum. I had, I had a show scheduled and nobody did do the show. And then I thought, I thought I overheard Josh saying some shit about me on the streets people josh our producer he's always talking yeah jonathan yeah, he's a piece of crap and i was like you know what i should challenge him we should do the you jokes against each other for once and all here he is welcome the you jokes producer josh flaum yeah! <laughs> jonathan's a piece of crap see See, I know people have been hearing this. They've been hearing you bragging. Yep. Uh, so tonight, man, it's you and me. We're having a joke off. We're gonna we're gonna joke each other off all night long. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I'm wearing I'm wearing loose pants. I'm ready to be joked off. Oh yeah! I see people have joined us. A bunch of people. Uh, Amy Kahn, Karen Frazier, Michelle Carlin, Angela Rosender. Hello, Shiana Shana for your soul. I see Mr. Coaster, Postmaster Radio. Cassie P is here. Uh, Postmaster Radio, the ultimate battle is here. Uh, behold this, uh, Melissa Garland, Helga. I see Ron. I see Drifty Allison, uh, Shannon R, Sarah Ray Ray. Uh, this is going to be fun. Um, what have you been up to, Josh? Where, where can people follow you? Uh, people can follow me on Facebook. Uh, uh, just look up my name. Uh, it's Josh Flaum. Uh, you yep. can't follow me on Twitter because I got banned from Twitter permanently for calling Mitch McConnell the C-word over and over again. Uh, I'm on Instagram. But I, yeah, if you like pictures of cats, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> uh, uh, and this, yeah, I'm just I'm just treating you like I would a guest. What have you been doing, man? What, what have you been doing? So uh, what I've been doing is prepping to go to Portugal. I'm actually going to Portugal tomorrow morning. Uh, bright and early. Uh, what? What's yeah. in Portugal? What's what's there? You know, uh, there's a lot of things there, uh, most of which are castles. But uh, I, I, my wife and I are actually looking to buy a house, and so we're we're going there because uh, if you live in California at all, unless you're a sultan or a cocaine dealer uh, <laughs> or anything of the like. You can't afford a house. And so I'm, I'm going to go to a place that it has the same weather, uh, but cheaper property. It's a little bit of a commute, but people do uh, work here and then live yeah. there. So, so good luck. <laughs> good luck to you on that. I feel um, like if I left to go to Santa Monica from Glendale or I left from Portugal to go to Santa Monica, I'd get there around the same time. It would be the same. It would be exactly the same. It would be exactly the same. <laughs> well, uh, we wish you luck on your journey. And also, that is a good little time to give people a heads up. You'll be gone next week, so there won't be a U-Jokes uh, next Monday. Correct. We'll, we'll be back uh, the Monday after that, uh, which on your calendar would be add 14 days to today because I can't do math or Actually, days. 13, 13 days. Uh -oh. 13 days. Oh, you're right. You're right. Wait. Really? Yeah, Monday, oh, right? yes. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to mess me up all day. Well, here we go, Josh. It's I'm you ready. against me. Wait, wait. What have you been up to lately? Um, I have been doing Let's Make a Deal. We'll just tape three episodes today. So if uh, you like game shows, uh, like I like game shows, then uh, check out Let's Make a Deal every day on CBS. Um, 
uh, that is what I've been doing, getting ready for the holiday season time. Got a frozen turkey. I heard they might run out, so I got a frozen turkey ahead of time um, and there. squeezed it into the freezer. The door's not shutting, but I figure I got a week before everything in there melts, so I think we'll be good. It's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says, yay. Thank you for picking up the turkey. Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. It is me versus you versus the audience on Let's pictures go. that you have found. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm saying you have an advantage. Uh, I, I do have an advantage in that I know what the pictures look like. And uh, I have written jokes well ahead of time. And also um, I produce the show. And so mm -hmm. I can at any time give myself more time like now. Uh, to think up more jokes. Well, I know what your mom looks like. <laughs> Let's play the first game, Josh. Super villain. Super villain works like this. I am going to show you a picture that Josh found on the internet. And you tell me, what do you think that super villain would be? Uh, good luck, Josh, sir. Good luck, audience. I Here wish I could is say the same to you. Pick. Bam. What is this? <laughs> what is this supervillain? Uh, what is the name of the supervillain? If you have a joke, you know what to do. You type it into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. Tell me what this supervillain's name is. Good luck all. We are going to start with Josh. Josh, yeah. what is this supervillain's name? Well, uh, obviously, that is Beth and Fetterman. <laughs> I like it. Beth Amphetamine. Yes, it is. Only someone that is out of Florida would have come up with a joke like that. And it worked. Uh, my turn. Uh, you know, I think that this super villain's name is Crap Ton Marvel, played by Debris Larson. Whoa. <laughs> uh, but now we have uh, a lot of other people to contend with, Josh. I see some jokes here. Garbit from Sarah Ray Ray Johnson. Garbage Disposal Girl, Joey Henson, Trashy Tracy from April Kerr, uh, Dame Walk of Shame uh, from Micro, uh, Wayne, Wayne Brady's playing, oh my gosh, uh, The Trailer Trasher from Wayne. You might recognize Wayne from his appearances on Vinyl Justice. Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of good jokes here. Uh, tell me, Josh, uh, who from the audience are you pulling out? Okay, here we go. Here ready? we go. Amy Kahn, the garbage pail kit. Garbage pail kit. That is a good one, Amy Kahn. Amy Kahn is constantly winning. Oh, and also Wayne mentions that he was uh, he was also in a commercial in 1999. Hey, thanks, Wayne. <laughs> for bringing that up. Good luck up and coming for that career. Uh, I feel like Wayne should be in the zoo. Hey, if Wayne, if Wayne wants to join, uh uh Wayne, I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you the invite right, the invite right now. If you want to join, you don't have to. Don't feel forced. I know that you are stage shy. Um, I'm just sending it right now. Is what I'm doing. Let's see if uh, Wayne Brady is your email right there. And send this link. All right, that's how you do it. Um, all right, it's time to vote, I think, Josh. Is that what we're doing so here? I think so, too. Yes. All right. Uh, Angela Rosetter is going to be right back, taking a potty break. <laughs> you typed it, so I'm not really saying anything embarrassing, but good luck with your potty break. Uh, who did you think won that round? Was it you for you, Josh? Was it J for me, Jonathan? Or was it A for the audience at Amy Khan? Uh, type in your jokes now. Good luck, everybody. Type in your jokes Type in your jokes. Type in your vote is what I'm trying to say. This is new. It's so new doing it like this. Um, I I like it. I can just sit sit here and look. Josh, do do your do your math thing. I will. And tell us who won uh, this round of new jokes. And I gotta give it to the audience. Whoa, the audience! Gosh, they beat both of us, man. And what was Amy Khan, who yeah. who is a beast at the jokes she's she's a a, a veritable monster <laughs> westman facebook asks why did we all just 
Oh, why did we all just get sent Wayne Brady's email address? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't do that, West Bad. Don't trick me. That happened to Ryan Styles. We were doing a uh, Zoom with the Who's Line cast, and his his name down here. Uh, he had had his email address, and he got he got a lot of emails. That was pretty dang funny. Uh, Colin can't type fast enough. Yes, you can, Colin. You can work on it. Uh, Darren D, Amy, you monster. We're all jealous of you, Amy. Uh, Karen Frazier, I remember that. Uh, yeah, you can see that on YouTube, actually. If you go on to here in the UJOX page, I think it's in, it might be in that chat. There's one here on my page and some on other pages. But uh, there's no win yet, so we're going to move on with round two. Round two is a game that we call this. Who wants their secret? What's their secret? This is a fun one. We haven't done this in a while. I'm going to show you a picture of someone, and they have a secret. They have a secret. I want you to tell me what is their secret. Here is the pick right there. What is this person's secret? If you have a joke, you know what to do. Josh Bagley, Randy Ferguson, Cassie P, Big Josh Hinkle. Uh, type in what this person's secret is. They have a secret, but somehow you know it. Somehow you know the secret. So uh, good luck, everyone. Uh, Josh, we started with you last time, so we'll start with me this time. Yes. Um, uh, oh, I see Mr. Brady. I see Wayne has joined us here. There he is. Hey, dude. Hello. Hey. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having me. My, I'm I don't plan on being funny at all. I'm I'm here just as a bystander to to ruin your your chances. <laughs> to ruin my chances? Why would you no, do that? No, both of your chances. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, like I'm just gonna split the vote. So you're like a heckler or something? Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Wait, no. Boo. Well, you showed up just in time to hear my joke, Wayne. Uh, this person has a secret. And my answer to this is that this person actually starred in a pumpkin-only pornographic movie called The Legend of Creepy Swallow. <laughs> that is my joke. Sliding down to Josh. What is this person's secret, Josh? Well, actually, uh, because he's wearing the pumpkin head, you, you, you don't actually know that this is... Um not the headless horseman this is the headless horseman's <laughs> brother the jobless horseman <laughs> the jobless ah. true and funny wayne you got one um um i think that uh that he's actually uh the cousin of the co-star that that was in that movie um that you mentioned um his his friend is named I ichabod brains <laughs> <laughs> ichabod brain also mm -hmm. starring in The Legend of Creepy Swallow. Uh, because, I mean, really, look, look, he, he's just that that if you look into his head, it's just a bunch a bunch of seeds. Right. I mean, oh, oh, <laughs> that's what the log line is. Look into his head. A bunch of seeds. Uh, let's go to the audience, Josh. All right. Let's uh, see. Find a good one here in the audience. All right, Shannon, let's see, let's see. Shannon R says, terrible acne. Colin says, the secret is it's me. <laughs> is it Colin, really? Um, Gomez and Morticia's long lost son, says Angela Rosender. Uh, pull one out. Ben Pack, he moonlights as a body gourd. He moonlights That's as a body favorite. gourd. <laughs> Excellent pun from Mr. Pack. Mr. Pack with the puns. Time to vote, you guys. Was it J for Jonathan? Was it U for you, Josh? Was it <laughs> M for Manuts Brady? Man no, Manuts Birdie. Beret Manuts Beretti. Or was it. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Birdie. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. It's kind of uh, like T'Challa, except it's <laughs> Beretti. Or A for the audience. Uh, do your voting thing now. I see. Oh, Darren D just voted for moist. Just voted for moist. So uh, thanks, Darren. Josh will do his eyeball tally. Tell us who won the second round of you jokes. And the winner, audience again. Got to go with the audience. I'm not going to the audience. Coming up. This is not. I, I. One of us needs to win, Josh, so we can we'll hold it over each other's head. I know. Um, I, I'm trying my best. 
I am working real hard to beat you, the audience, and Manut's Birdie. Birdie. He's frozen too, so maybe this is an advantage because oh, he's no. so frozen. Is he ha -ha! actually, is he that's actually right. frozen or is it a bit? No, that's what you get for living in the Palisades with your Palisade <laughs> Wi Fi. Ha ha. See, so he jumps back on. But let's play our next game, which we call this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. No, oh, come on, producer. Do your Anachronomaniac. 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 Oh, yeah, you do have control, don't you, there, John? Oh, Wayne, you just missed it. Oh, that's negative 15 points for Wayne. Damn it. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to have to play move, it again. move my router. <laughs> Anachronomaniac. <laughs> Anachronomaniac works like this. I'm going to give you a word, and you use the letters to spell something out. So if the word was ham, it might mean Harry's always manly. Not funny, like I just said, but that's how it would work. So the word for today is this. Drunk. What does drunk <laughs> stand for? D-R-U-N-K. If you have a joke, type it in into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. Uh, what does D-R-U-N-K stand for? Uh, we'll start down there. At, uh, although I'm afraid to, to get let Wade go first because quite often he will... Take the joke I'm thinking of. Uh, Manette's Birdie, what does D-R-U-N-K stand for? Oh, no. Is he frozen again? He's frozen again. Or, or he's thinking real hard. Uh, let's go up to you, Josh. D-R-U-N-K. Don't risk underestimating nipple kisses. Don't risk <laughs> underestimating <laughs> nipple kisses. They are... Some of the best kisses, I think, that uh, that exist in nature. I think you're right. Uh, Wayne is back. Do you have the words that D-R-U-N-K stands for, Wayne? Um, just off the top of my head, uh, Dad rarely understands noon killings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dad Dark. rarely understands noon killings. Because he's too drunk. So oh. he really does, doesn't understand when I kill folks at noon. Why are you get bodies on my lawn? <laughs> Man. Excellent your dad uh, imitation, by the way. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, drunk. I think drunk stands for dainty rectum user, Nicole Kidman. Oh. I imagine she has a dainty rectum, and I imagine that she uses it like most humans do. Uh, let's dip into the audience, Josh. Pull out a good one. I see Helga, damn right, you never knitted. Uh, April Kurt, dirty raccoon under night kites. That's a good one, April. That's a festival. <laughs> Is it really? Mm -hmm. That's what you do after you kill the guy at noon. You go to that festival. Yep. Uh, let's vote, you guys. Was it M for my nuts? Birdie, was it U for Josh? Was it J for Jonathan, me, or was it A for audience? Um... I see some good ones. Angela Rosender. Uh, dead, oh, it just, the problem is that these texts all slide up. Uh, Deadly Rabbits under North Kitchen was good. Damn right, you jokes names kids, says Darren D. During Rain Umbrellas, never know. Michelle Carlin. Uh, downright, ultimately nude kissing. Brian Terry Whitlock. Demonstrating really unknown, needless knowledge. Amy Kahn. Uh, don't run under nine kites, says Josh Bagley. But for now, Josh, who won that round of the you jokes? Oh, I, I got one! I gotta be honest. There's a, a Josh, lot of that was a good one, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, it was all right. <laughs> I think that a lot of people just don't appreciate nipple kisses like I do. Well, it's an acquired taste. I love really nipple is. kisses. I yeah. love Thank you. nipple kisses. Thank you, yeah. my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my nuts, for the nipple kisses. Oh, man. You know, it's time for our next game already. And it's called this. What's this a commercial for? What's this a commercial for is I'm going to show you a still from a commercial. And you tell me, what is the commercial from? Here it is. What is this? What is this a commercial for? Good luck. If you have a joke, type it into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. What is this a commercial for? Uh, I went last last time, so I'll go first this time. My joke is... This is a commercial for Shittles. Taste the drain bowl. <laughs> Shittles. 
Uh, moving down the ladder, Josh, what is this a commercial for? Um, well, I, I had one very similar, so I'm going to do a different one. Uh, this one is Dunkin' Show Nuts. <laughs> Dunkin' Show Nuts. I like that. Uh, Wayne, what is this a commercial for? It's, um, it's a, uh, actually a picture from the, um, from the commercial for the, uh, from the uh, religiously themed Holy World theme park in Orlando, Florida, where instead of Shamu, they they have uh, <laughs> Jimmy the Jesuit who, uh, who 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 jumps into the Soul Bowl, and it's a twelve o'clock advertising Soul Bowl nipple kisses go to <laughs> man. That was good. That was good work. That was hard work, and you found jokes. You were, I like it. And Wayne's not actually joking. There actually was a religious uh, theme park thing they had at Disney. The Holy Land. What was it called? The Holy Land. The Holy Land. Uh, it, it, something to see. That's all I'm going to say. Something to see. Did we do the audience yet? Josh, dip into the audience and pull one out. Uh, Joey Henson, ultimate toilet plunger with a smile. Oh, so time to vote. You guys, was it M for my nuts, birdie, U for you, Josh, J for Jonathan, or A for the audience, a uh, Holy land experience. Amy Khan says it's called, um, Oh yeah. You're in trouble now with the Holy water says, uh, postmaster radio potty humor says Angela Rosender, uh, Rainbow Bidet after you rainbow parade, says Westman. Bath to bowl surgery, says Darren D. Uh, Randy Ferguson, tidy bowl, the naked clean. <laughs> Lots of good bits, but we have one already on the table. So, Josh, with your eyeball count, tell us who won this round of you jokes. The winner uh, is... We... Hang on. Do your job. I got to type it in. Oh, see this... We were talking about getting somebody else in here that could really actually do that. There we go. Are you, are you ready? Yeah, we are. Wayne... <laughs> Wow. Yep. Wayne used the Jesus card to win himself a comedy competition. And a career. <laughs> a career. <laughs> uh, what time is it? It's time for a little thing we call this now. It's time for last week's best. Last week's best is most people don't watch the show live. They watch it after the fact. We want to give you a chance to still type in your jokes. So if you're watching this on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whenever you are, and you have a joke for any of these you see, type them in. Uh, Josh goes through. He reads them all. He pulls out a great one and invites that person onto the show. And please welcome back onto the show for his second time, Chifo Sanchez. Yeah. Chifo. How are you? How are you? Good. Got my trumpet. That's right. Hit something. <laughs> Me too. Wayne, play the Wrong dog. Wrong end. Wrong Ay, ay, ay. It is hilarious. Well, Chifo, welcome back to the show. Uh, hey. Not only are you very funny, but you are, are, are a great trumpetist, and you are an awesome artist, and we can see right there in your name, Chief uh, ChifoArtSantaFe.com, if you want to check yeah, out yeah. Uh, Chifo's art, which is for sale to buy, to hang hey. on your walls. Uh, everything good with you, Chifo? Oh yeah, it's really good. My assistant helped me out, you know, and all that stuff. I, I, I can't believe that my nuts are on camera either. You're, you're, you're I, 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 what? <laughs> my nuts is also on camera with us. Your nuts are on camera. No, my nuts, Brady. <laughs> I believe he's for oh, God. <laughs> you know, my nuts, but Erdy. For for a second, I'm just like this is getting real creepy real fast, and I don't know how to back out of it. And I think we're going to be in trouble. I was talking about Nicole Kidman. <laughs> oh man, her her nuts are dainty too. Uh, well, let's show you what what you won for. We played a game uh, last time, and it was called uh, name this name this beverage. And here's the picture uh, popping up here. What was this <laughs> beverage? And you won for calling it. One small drink for mankind. <laughs> so that got you here to the finals. Yeah, I can't believe it myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get into the last game so we can have one more round to play. Let's see the final game, Josh. It's an inspirational poll. 
poster. Oh, inspirational poster. I'm going to show you a picture and you tell me what would the inspirational poster read? What would this poster read here in the final round? Good luck, everybody. <laughs> will Josh get on the board? We'll see. Uh, here's the poster. Oh, man. Aww. Look at that little squirrel with a little lightsaber. What would this inspirational poster read? If you have a joke, type it now into the Facebook, the YouTube. Oops. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> yes, very good. I'm glad you like the show, Bigley. I just hit the wrong button. Uh, type it into the YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook chat. Uh, we're going to start off with our winner from last week, uh, Chifo Sanchez. What would this inspirational poster say? Well, I don't know that this is very inspirational, but much to the audience's surprise when they went to go see. Uh, uh, Charles the Chipmunk here, uh, the world's famous sword swallower that they were about to see his last performance. But oh, at yeah. least at least there was going to be snacks afterwards. <laughs> That's a lot to fit on a poster. But I if you pick so. the right font, you can do it. Uh, sliding up to Wayne, Manette's birthday, what would this inspirational poster say? Hey, I'm a squirrel and even I had got on a poster. <laughs> so what are you doing with your life, human? <laughs> wow. Dot, dot, dot. The job for it. <laughs> it's a dick squirrel. What a dick. Uh, but what an important message. Uh, we'll save Josh for last. Um, I believe that this uh, inspirational poster is not only inspirational poster it's also uh informational for doctors it wants to make sure that they don't make mistakes while inspiring them so it hangs in every doctor's office and it reads circumcision isn't nuts <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you uh. yeah <laughs> it's, it's never good when your joke gets a uh, uh which is why i saved josh for last Bring it home with the best joke of all time, Josh. Okay, here we go. This poster, I think, says, do or do not, there is no flying squirrel. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> best joke of all time. Pretty Took it good. home. Pretty good. Uh, no! Oh, oh, what? No. We didn't no! You can't do that shit. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, always check your battery, Sarah. Ray Ray says, Mr. Coaster, reach for Death Stars, Postmaster Radio, fight for your right to gather nuts. Uh, Angela Rosender, saber the flavor. Big Josh Hinkle, mm, nuts, Brady voices, nutty squirrel and nut wars. <laughs> Use the squirrel, my nuts, Brady, says Westman. But Josh, pull one out from the audience. Ooh, uh, hang on for one sec. We'll give it be right back. There we go. Hang I on. She made this a union job for the. <laughs> um, here we go. I got it. This he has it. We have yeah. one from Ben. Stop. Oh, my mom. It's my mom, Barbara Megan Sharp. Oh. Tribute to a squirrel legend is the inspirational poster. Oh. <laughs> uh, hey, it's voting time. Was it C for Chifo Sanchez? Was it M for Manuts Birdie? Was it U for you, Josh? Was it J for Jonathan? Or was it A for my mom? Uh, <laughs> type, in your, <laughs> type in your vote now. Uh, good luck. Well, and by the way, if, if, the, if you want to watch the next show live, you're not watching it live. The next show will be not next Monday because we'll be off the following Monday after that. It will be our 98th episode. So come on back for that in two months. Today's Tuesday, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and if you like merchandise, you want a U Jugs mug or a hat or a, a scarf. I don't think we have scarves, but uh, the link to the merchandise is right there, and you can probably see it also in the video description. So that is all I have to say. Who won the final round of U Jokes, Josh? Oh, it was a barn burner, to I'll be sure. But uh, I have to say, I saw. More you, Josh, than J's or A's or M's or C's. Wow, Woo. who'd you pay? <laughs> well, it's a pretty much a tie all the way around. So, uh, thanks everyone for coming on Tuesday night and playing in this silly game. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Drifty Allison, Gail, Good Apple, Postmaster Radio, Josh Begley, Kim, Mr. Coaster, Colin, hey, Donka, uh, Henrik, Ben Pack. It's super been fun. Um, Thank you, uh, Wayne, for jumping in, uh, and thank you, Chifo, for uh, for winning. And and thank Josh, you. good game.
Good game. Hey, it was, it was hey Jonathan, close. if you'll let me, we, yeah. we can't tell tell the people. You know, you know, pretty soon the U Jokes 100th episode is coming up, and yeah. you should see the star lineup that these two, Jonathan and Josh, they are put, putting together. It's going to be an amazing show. Stars galore with music, and it's just going to be amazing. I can't wait wait to see it. Don't forget to tune into the 100th episode. You know, that's funny because, uh, Wayne, I think this poster, I think this poster is, uh, go fuck yourself, Wayne Brady. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my inspirational poster says. And you've just committed to being on the show, by the way. So that's, that's what you just did. Dude, you're, I'm there. The most, you're the most famous person that I know. So way to go. Way to go. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye.